Now, Jolene Anderson first graced our screens as nurse Erica Templeton in the hit show All Saints. The popular drama series cementing her status as one of Australia's most successful stars. Completely understand. I wouldn't want to have to paint a smile on my face after a day like today. After taking out the title of It Takes Two in 2007, the actress has now lent her voice to a cause close to her heart, releasing a song to raise awareness for Mental Health Month. Her latest film, Beyond Memories, debuted at the 2013 Cannes Film Festival to rave reviews. And the Aussie actress, Jolene Anderson, joins us now live from LA. I'm a bit sad about that. I thought we were going to see you in here, but you're over there in Tinseltown. Uh, you've relocated there, actually. How's it, how's it treating you? I have. I have relocated here. And hello, Larry. It's hello. been a long time since I've seen you. Yeah, good to see you. <laughs> you look great. Tell us about life over there. Um, it's good. It's good. Um, just pounding the pavements with auditions and going to yoga like everyone else here, yeah, driving yeah, Prius yeah. like everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mental Health Month kicks off today and you are involved with the Black Dog Institute, which is a cause close to your heart. Tell us a little bit about that. It is. Um, the Black Dog Institute is um, an institute that's responsible for research and awareness of uh, depression and things like bipolar. And it was interesting, actually, and I'd love to share this, that we had um, an email that came through from Glenn Close and the Fountain House um, have a foundation called Bring Change to Mind. And they retweeted um, a tweet <laughs> that the Black Dog Institute had put up, and it was to do with the song. And, um, yeah, which is what they were talking about, which is what we do, and it's saying, we really believe that sharing stories is crucial for eliminating stigma, and your song is the perfect example of this. And um, so it's lovely that it's, wow. you know, it's globally known now. <laughs> yeah, tremendous feedback. So how did you get involved, you know, in this particular, uh, this project, this side of the project, the music side of it? Um, I had a lady from Sydney, her name's Leanne Imber, approach me with, she had written the lyrics and a boy called Tom Farmer had written the music. And they asked would I sing it and help promote awareness and raise money for the Black Dog Institute. And this was last year, just before Mental Health Week. So we were too early last year, but then we've had a lot of uh, print media and, you know, radio interviews. And now it's come to Mental Health Week this year and it's really, you know, hitting home and we're making a lot of sales on iTunes, which is, and awareness, which is perfect. Great. It is getting a lot of airtime as well, which is good. Now, you were offered multiple recording contracts, weren't you, right after <laughs> taking out the title on, on Seven's It Takes Two. Do you think we could see an album on the horizon? No, no, <laughs> I do enjoy singing. You know, I love it. I sing when I cook, I sing in the car, and that's about it. <laughs> but you were good. You but were I really you enjoyed were lending. Oh, thank you. I'd love to get back on stage in a musical or something. That would be great. Mm. Okay, all right. Bit of a morning show exclusive there, thank you. <laughs> uh, now, you, oh. you originally started in a film that premiered at the uh, 2013 Cannes Film Festival. That must have been a great experience. It was. It was really um, such a beautiful project to be a part of, and it was quite a grueling, grueling um, filming, but uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I got to do the red carpet and meet Harvey Weinstein and a few of the usual suspects over here. Um, <laughs> but it was great. But just, you know, creating that piece of art was just... It really was soul fulfilling for me. Great. All right. Well, well done. Congratulations, Jolene. And thanks very much for your time this morning. Thank you. Thanks for supporting. No, anytime. And good luck over there. Uh, now, for more information on how you can support Mental Health Month, just head to the Daily Show info section on our website. It's important information, and it's all there for you.